Oh, Noah, he was a great father-in-law. Really, really, he was. I mean, except for that time he cursed my husband Ham and all of our descendants. <laughs> but <clears throat> that's another story. Sorry. Uh, in all seriousness, I'm so glad we survived the flood. Common folklore has us missing the ark. We didn't miss the ark. Lance and I were on that boat with the requisite two of every animal. Although, it didn't take us long to realize that this wasn't going to be an Atlantis cruise and, well, we didn't quite meet the specifications. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help it that I'm so pretty and that, well, they just so happened to grab us on possibly the coldest day ever. I mean, my little guys were tucked up for warmth. <laughs> So, for 40 days, there was nothing but torrential rain. And then, 110 days later, we finally touched down on the highest peaks of the mountains of Ararat. Land! <laughs> we were overjoyed! Um, until we realized that it would be months before we could get off the boat because of the water. And then, once it did recede, we'd be stuck on a boat filled with wild, caged-up, hungry animals. <laughs> WTF, God! <laughs> Mm. Yeah. It didn't take long for nature to take its course on that ark. Oh, seemed like babies were popping up here and there <laughs> for all the other animals. Yeah, some would be fed, but uh, most would be fed upon. Yeah, seemed there was an endless supply of bunny meat for those carnivores. Oh, the poor little bunny rabbits, they were so cute. Ah. I mean, we weren't zoologists. There were all those animals to take care of, and only ten of us. I mean, eight of us. Eight. Oh my god. We vowed never to speak of that. Um, <laughs> Noah actually had four sons. Shem, Ham, Japheth, and Steve. I wish we had missed that ark. The day came, finally, when they ran out of meat and while the bunnies were on strike. They soon realized that Lance and I weren't going to be carrying on the proud unicorn lineage. They took Lance. And I could hear him whinny and bray. And then silence. It was horrible. And the worst part is, he didn't even get to see the rainbow. Steve, <laughs> um, you know, we'd been on the boat for eight months. We were tired and bored, stuck on the mountaintop, and well, Steve got careless. One day, he went down to clean the cheetah cage, and he never came. The worst part is, Noah made his wife clean up the mess. You have to wonder what would have happened if Noah had said no. If Noah had said, thanks God for thinking so highly of me. But really, it'd be kind of sad to see everyone and everything that I love destroyed. So how about God, how about we nix the whole thing, you know? No ark, no flood, no problem. <laughs> Maybe things would have ended up differently, right? You can't imagine what it was like being stuck on that ark. There are things I still can't speak about. Unholy acts witnessed in the late hours. What happens on the ark stays on the ark. <laughs>